Welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video. We sell all the coolest collectibles straight out of Japan. Please check the description of this video for more details, including our eBay store and our Facebook page. So firstly, I apologize for my voice today. I know it's a bit croaky. Um, but uh, I have some uh, bit of exciting news actually with this series because yesterday One Piece aired its 700th episode, so great achievement there for One Piece. And uh, last month it was uh, it went into the Guinness Book of Records for the most... Uh, I forget the record exactly, to be honest, but I think it was the most manga sold, or most comics sold by a single artist, which of course is Ichiro Oda, who made uh, the One Piece series. So very, very popular. I'd love to I'd love to know how popular it is outside of Japan. I mean, how, I don't know, how much do people, um, you know, how popular is it in your country? Can you get figures, etc.? I really have no idea. I remember when I was living overseas, there were plenty of Dragon Ball figures, but um, One Piece, yeah, I never saw any One Piece, but anyway. Um, so anyway, today we're going to be looking at these two figures, and these are actually a new series, which is known as Creator Creator, and that refers to the sculptor and the artist. But they're not really versing each other, they're, you know, working together. And the results, I have to say, are pretty impressive. Um, so these are the only two figures that have been released so far, but there's going to be a Mihawk and Nami that have been already announced, and I suspect there's going to be quite a few more. So the the, the figure boxes are not um, particularly large, but uh, sorry, I'm looking for the case. So that's that's an iPhone 5 case. So that gives you an idea of the size. Um, so. They're not massive figures, um, but obviously they've gone for the detail here. If you like, you know the realistic, uh, the realistic look, um, and let's have a look at the the box. So this is obviously we'll look at Aokiji first. So I really like that they used this Aokiji rather than him in his. Uh, marine outfit because without giving the story away too much he does actually leave it's called to animation stick up uh, he does leave the marines and sort of goes out on his own um, which you know I sort of admire as a character and I think he's really the first figure of Aokiji that they've released I mean there have been ones in the figure art series there have been Ichiban Kujis but in terms of like standard release figures from Ben Presto I believe this is the first one so um, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, so I, I like the fact that they've used this, um, you know, this sort of outfit. And uh, I don't know why they have him sitting on a chair. Mihawk's also going to be on a chair. I mean, Mihawk looks, I think, better. I mean, I don't think it looks bad. Um, because Aokiji, I mean, he tends to be a pretty sort of relaxed, laid-back kind of guy, at least on the outside. Um, but I don't know, this sort of looks more Matrix to me. You know, he's sitting on the chair and he's got his big coat and everything. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, he also, I don't know why, I never noticed this. Maybe maybe this is he does this in the series, but he's only got a glove on one hand as well. I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe he has a burn on his right hand, or I don't know. But uh, I doubt it's a mistake. I mean, they've obviously deliberately designed it that way. So, um, but yeah, all in all, I think it's you know the detail is is really great. I mean, you can see his. It's a little bit out of focus. You can see his face there. It looks pretty, pretty serious. And these figures actually come in two different, there's two different styles, the same for Zoro and all of them. So there's like a standard color one and there's like a black and white one. And the black and white ones are actually much rarer. And therefore they're much more expensive, but I don't know why I'd want a black and white one, to be honest. Especially since it's going to cost you a lot more. So... And then that's the side. Japanese like, just like collecting things. I guess. Uh, so anyway, so that's a, that's a pretty nice figure. Um, yeah, maybe could add a different stance. I, I, look, I don't have a problem with it. I think it looks good, but 
it's a little bit strange, I guess, when you think about it. Let's move on to the Zoro. And this is obviously a pretty cool looking figure. There have been a lot of Zoro figures. Like, there have been a lot of Zoro figures. And uh, in the main S Cultures line, there's going to be a new one released this year. It's going to be the fourth one in the S Cultures line. So uh, you can see there's actually a foreigner who was involved in making this, pretty cool. So it's pretty standard for Bampro to actually have information about the, the sculptors and things. So you can see again two different versions. But one thing to note as well, the stand on the box on the front actually isn't what comes with the figure. That is the stand that you get with the figure. And I think these figures come in one piece as well. Maybe like the sword you'd attach and stuff, but it's you know it's pretty much all in one piece. So you can see, I mean, it's just a great figure. It's great stance, great detail. How can you not like that? So, but in terms of, uh, I actually have the S Cultures figure here. Honestly, if I had to choose one or the other, I'd choose the S Cultures one because a it's a little bit bigger. B, he's sort of actually in an action pose. Like this one, he's sort of ready to attack, whereas this one, he's actually attacking. Um, and you could sort of have another figure of the two, like standing off, like the Trafalgar Law. That looks really cool. Even though they didn't fight in the series, it, it does look very cool. Um, and I don't know, I, I just feel that this one is a really good balance between looking really cool and interesting and detailed but it still feels sort of cartoony whereas this one is just really realistic and that's not a complaint at all in fact if anything it's a compliment but I don't think like this figure is gonna look it's gonna look a little bit out of place with your other figures because if you have like figures like the S cultures line which sort of look cartoony it's gonna look a little bit out of place having one that looks real really realistic so that's just my personal opinion. If, if Personally, if I was going to keep one, I'd keep this one. But, you know, this one, we've already sold a lot of them. It's been very popular, and I, I can certainly understand why. I'm not going to review this figure here, but you can see, you know, they do have the uh, sculpt, sculptor's information as well. But uh, that, that figure is there as well. And the new S Cultures Zoro that's going to come out in the next month or two, it actually is pretty much the same as this. Except he's like f just finished the jump and his sword is like already finished the uh, the slice. So and he does look a bit more cartoony like the S Cultures one I showed you because it is part of the S Culture series. But um, anyway, two very impressive figures, no doubt about that. And um, it's it's going to be a great series. Um, this this creator creator series. I really hope they release lots of figures in the line. And the Nummy one is actually going to be her in a bikini with like. Uh, flippers on her like she's like diving or something so they're not it seems like they're not just gonna have like really serious looking figures they are actually you know they're gonna have a few different ones in here as well so um, it might be one really to you know a great series to collect from the beginning so um, yeah that's the creator creator series from Bam Presto and this is the Kuzan Aokiji and Rorona Zoro thank you very much for watching